Trader Joe's. We are going to do a little bit of grocery shopping this morning. Um, today was actually the first time I have driven since I've gotten my piercings. And yo, the, the seat belt is in like the worst spot. So like I was doing this thing where like if I'm buckled in, I was like holding the seatbelt slightly away from me or like up a little bit high. So it was like this. I looked like such a doofus, but not that it really matters because I'm driving by myself. It's not like anybody's looking in my windows being like, she's driving super funny. So I have a couple things on my grocery list that we are going to be getting. And then I'm actually gonna hop back in the car here after I do my grocery shopping. And we're gonna have a little chat about some updates that are going on with the next step in life. I had to go to Smith's because Trader Joe's didn't have distilled water or a cabbage. So, second stop of the day. But I got lots of stuff from Trader Joe's and I use my own bags. Props to me for remembering. I swear, we have so many like canvas bags, but I can never remember to actually bring them to the grocery store. So they rarely get used except for when we're like packing for a trip. Then we bring them everywhere. This parking lot is a nightmare. I'm getting stressed out watching everybody try to park. It's like really stressful. Okay. Time for a quick grocery haul. Bananas, sweet potatoes, watermelon, mushrooms on mushrooms on mushrooms, portobello mushrooms and cremini mushrooms, limes, onions. Also, Trader Joe's ha have these new like bags um, for putting your produce in and they're actually compostable. It's really interesting texture. You know that feeling of when you blow up a balloon and then it becomes deflated? after a period of time. It feels exactly like that. It feels like a stretched out balloon. It's super strange. This one's tofu, baked tofu. This one's teriyaki flavored. I haven't actually tried the Trader Joe's like pre-marinated tofu before. So I'm giving that a try. And they also have sriracha flavored baked tofu. So both of those, more limes. Red lentil pasta. This is gonna be really interesting to try because it has a ton of protein in it. It's made with red lentil flour and three quarters of a cup has 13 grams of protein, which is like way more protein than regular pasta does. So I wanted to give that a try. Sun-dried tomatoes, nutritional yeast, and some Tuscan kale. And I picked up some distilled water at Smith's to basically make a bulk amount of sea salt soaps for my piercings. What you essentially do is you just get sea salt and like put a couple teaspoons into the whole gallon of distilled water and you shake it up a little bit and you have salt soaks. And then you just let it soak in the area for like between like five and 15 minutes. I'll usually try to do it for at least 10 minutes um, twice a day. That's about it. You don't have to worry about that though because you um, don't have any piercings. She's like, but I could get piercings if I wanted to, right? I think you look beautiful just as you are. Are you serious? What is that look? <laughs> okay, and ideally you don't want it like actually boiling. So now all I'm gonna do is let this cool down for a few minutes because ideally all you want is for it to be like a little bit above body temperature. So I'm gonna let this cool for a little bit and then um, yeah, we're gonna soak everything and it's gonna be great. In the meantime though, we had a little bit of updates when it comes to kind of the next step in life for us. So for those of you who are just joining us and are brand new, my name is Katie and my husband Blake is in the Air Force, but it's actually his last year in the Air Force. He's planning, the plan is for him to get out of active duty, branching out into the civilian world. And the prospect is really scary and really exciting all at once. And it's kind of bittersweet. He's deployed right now. He's going to be gone. Actually, a lot of you guys have asked this, how long is he gonna be gone? This is going to be a longer deployment than the ones he's gone on in the past. But because of the timing of everything, he's essentially going to be deployed. And then when it's time for him to come home, he's going to immediately start out processing and we're trying to figure out what we're gonna do. <laughs> we don't know if we're gonna be moving yet. We don't know really anything. Um, and it's really stressful because if we're gonna have to move, then I'm going to have to figure out everything with the house situation, selling like a ton of our stuff and then just, just getting started with like all of that stuff and where we're gonna be. We don't know yet. It's gonna be a surprise for everybody. <laughs> but something really exciting happened. He applied for a couple more jobs and then there's this one job in particular that would fit our situation perfectly. And I'm actually not going to be mentioning what companies specifically he's looking at just because I don't I don't talk about the company that I work for at all and I think when Blake gets out of the military
Do you want this? The more we think about it when it comes to getting out of the military, the more we think it would probably be a good idea to keep some of that information private. I don't talk about the company that I work for for privacy reasons. It protects the company, it protects my position, um, and I think it would be smart if we just didn't talk about the companies that Blake is applying for. It might come up in the future, but that's kind of like the basics, the current plan. But he recently applied for a couple more jobs. One will likely have us stay here in Vegas, and the other one would actually bring us back to Seattle. So when I think long-term about what we want out of life you know when, when it comes to like raising families and stuff like that like ideally we'd like to start a family near our family for those of you who are just joining us me and blake are both from western washington like the seattle area and so that would be like the ideal place where we like settle down for like really settle down but of course there are just a million options there's a lot of things that could be different there's a lot of things that could change and something that blake has actually thought about a little bit more recently is getting out of active duty in the Air Force, but then possibly transitioning into a guard position. So that way he can continue working toward retirement, like retirement benefits and having that military connection. But I don't know, there's still a lot that we don't know, but I thought I would just give you guys an update that he has applied for a couple more jobs, one of which would leave us here in Las Vegas, one of which would take us to Seattle. Blake actually was interviewing a lot for this one position that would actually bring us out to California, which we're totally open to as well, but it's not that things fell through with that job, it's just that for like salary wise and the cost of living, it didn't really pan out, it didn't really make a lot of sense to take that position, so, that's kind of where we're at right now. He's still interviewing, he's still applying for places, but um, but we still don't, we still don't know. <laughs> Hopefully, fingers crossed, knock on wood, within the next couple months, a lot of these unknowns will start to be a lot more clear and we'll have a lot more answers and we'll have more plans, but we are not quite there yet. <laughs> I am so tired today. So it's a new part of the vlog. Today is Monday. And today was actually the first day that I went and I exercised with my piercings. Everything is good. I did wear two sports bras just for like extra padding, but it was honestly fine. Like I, 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 I am straight up amazed. To be completely honest, I am amazed. It hurt when I got them pierced. Like that was a, quite a painful piercing, but pretty much it's only hurt that first day, basically. Every day since then, it, it's, it's, it's getting better and better and better, but like I am amazed at how much it doesn't hurt just like hanging around. <laughs> so far, healing seems to be doing really well. So um, I guess I just wanted to give that quick little update that things are going well so far today. After I got home from the gym, I got sucked into like a birth vlog wormhole. Does anybody fall into wormholes here on YouTube where you like watch one video and then like you see another suggested video and then you click on that and you literally just go on like a watching spree? That is basically what happened and it was with baby stuff and it made me so happy. Me and Blake are not really planning on having kids like anytime super soon. We definitely have to figure out what the next step is in life before we kind of take steps in that direction. That will be happening in the future for sure, but not quite. But for whatever reason, I have like an obsession with like mommy vloggers and I absolutely love like mommy channels and like channels all about teaching and like kids. And this morning I watched like a 30 minute long video on, it was great. It was like minimalism, baby necessities, like the, the things that this one mom in particular found absolutely essential for when you have like a newborn. And then it had like postpartum tips and stuff in it too. And I was just like, this is just so cool. Like, I don't know. I'm really excited for like when we hit that part in our life. I just love that stuff. Like, I just love it so much. And even though we don't have kids yet, just learning about that kind of stuff and figuring out like, oh, do I want a cloth diaper in the future? Do I want to like homeschool in the future? Like all of these things I think about constantly. I think about it all the time. Does anybody else do this? <laughs> Am I alone in this or not? I don't know. I feel like I think about it a lot, but anyway, I think I'm going to end the vlog there. What's well, a funny note to end a vlog on, but 
still. <laughs> this vlog was definitely more of like a life update kind of vlog. If you guys have any questions for me or Blake, definitely leave them in the comments down below. And also you should tell me who your favorite mommy vloggers are right now so I can watch more mommy channels. <laughs> I probably already watched them if they're like straight up regular vlogging channels, like not gonna lie, I watch a lot of vlogs, but um, dedicated like mommy channels yeah you should totally let me know so i can feed that addiction <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you next time bye